Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Icarus. Today we are going to do some exploring, some leveling up, some killing, maybe spot a area that we might want to build our main base in. Uh, so we are going to head down towards the water today. I've got a way to deal with bears, wolves. Uh, I think I've got everything somewhat handled. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, I did get some carrots last episode. I didn't notice. And that's pretty cool because 30 max health. I like that. I like it a lot. We got to get some levels, people. And we got to do some. We got to look around. We got to see what's up. There's gonna there's caves in the game, too. I haven't found a cave yet, but there are caves in the game. So I need to uh, kind of look around for those. I think the caves are... I, this, I don't think this is like a random... I know it's not a random, randomly generated world. So I think the caves are all in set spots. So we just got to find out where the caves are. If anyone knows where there are some caves, I am all ears. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Well, hopefully not too much. We'll have to see. I only got 44 arrows, so... I think I can start making... Oh, there's a Komodo dragon. Alright, let's kill the piece of shit Komodo dragon. I hate these things. Alright, and... There you go, and... I wouldn't say they're exactly slow, but they're slow enough where I can, I can you know... Stay out of range. You really don't want to let these things hit you. I mean, you don't want to let anything hit you, obviously, but you really don't want to let these things hit you because they'll give you some kind of debuff. Like I, I mentioned it last episode, it's like some kind of Komodo dragon poison or something, and it does it even lasts like after death. So even if you die, you're still gonna have it. All right. Did he get tired? Yeah, he got tired. He got tired of my antics. Dude, why can't I hit him? There we go. Hope he didn't get his hit points back. Gotta get those headshots, man. Boom, headshot. I gotta make some more arrows, too. There we go. So you really gotta get the headshots, because he's got a... They got a decent amount of hit points, right? Last episode, I also made my bone knife, which is gonna not only do more damage... But give me more stuff when I harvest, which is awesome. Use the knives to get rid of the bones as well. Or so I've been told. So that's what I've been doing. And uh, we think we've got our feet underneath us now. Um, Leather Gatherer 1. Awesome. I recorded this episode back to back from last episode, uh, just so you guys know. So if you gave me any tips or anything in last episode, um, I'm not ignoring your tips. I just haven't seen them yet. Okay, let's come on down here. Not seeing anything moving. Oh, there's something. That's a wolf. Um, okay, so I guess I hit the... <laughs> I was aiming for the wolf and I hit the boar. So that's fun. I don't know how tough boars are in this game, but... Headshot. Oh, I gotta make some more arrows, man. I keep missing way too much. All right, he's down. Now, where'd that wolf go? All right, the wolf's way out there. I'm going to kill the wolf before I do anything with the boar. What the hell is... Shit. <laughs> what the hell is seeing me? What is that? Is that another wolf? I don't know what the hell that is. Dude, seriously, what is that? I would imagine it's a wolf. I don't know. I can't even see over there. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a deer. Who cares? Ooh, another wolf. All right, it's getting uh, it's getting dangerous out here. Oh yeah, this game definitely has aim auto assist because I remember playing this game. You know when it first came out, it was a lot harder to get headshots on these animals. Man, this was not as easy as it is right now. They definitely made it a lot easier, which I'm, I'm a fan of because I suck. So this is definitely helpful for me. I'm going to come over here and grab this boar. We should get some interesting meat from this boar. Maybe like some uh, pork chops or something. That'd be pretty cool. Level 33 wild boar. There we go. We got some raw bacon. Hell yeah. Bacon rules the world. Oh, this thing's broken already? Sheesh. I thought it was going to last a lot longer. There we go. Yeah, this knife isn't even... <laughs> It doesn't even last that long. Look at it. I repaired it, and then I hit the bones twice. And look at how much damage taken out of it already. My goodness. 
My goodness gracious. Alright, grab you. This is great. I think uh, killing animals is, I think, is the best way to level up. Yeah, look at look at that. This thing's almost broken again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Need better knife. Okay, so this is the area I would like to live in. I'm not exactly sure where. I mean, we could just build right here. Oh, fudge me. Yeah, crocodiles are not something I want to tangle with right now. Although, no, 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 not right now. I think maybe we make some bone arrows. I'm gonna get some stone. No, I can't make bone arrows. That's right. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some stone, make some arrows. I want a lot of arrows to kill the croc. I think we can kill the croc, but we are going to need a lot of arrows to kill the croc. And what else do I need for arrows? I don't remember. Um, yeah, I leveled up. I didn't. I totally didn't even realize. Uh, what do we need for arrows? Sticks and fiber. All right, fair enough. Then that's just the bushes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with that croc. Because I think they're slow. Hopefully, if he's if he's fast, I'm I'm gonna be dead. If he's slow, I got a chance. Max, we need more stone. You know what? This would be a pretty cool place to build. I'll build right here. This is where it is on the map. Not today, but when we do build, I will build right there. Let's go ahead and repair the bow, and then I think we're gonna mess with a croc. I saw one over here. By the way, when you repair stuff, it like takes out all your stamina. So just be aware of that. All right, where's the croc? Ugh, stupid bushes. They're gonna get me killed. Is that him? Yeah, he's right there. Oh, there he Oh, Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did I get seen? I saw his little eye thing. The thing is, I can't get a good beat on him through these bushes. I'd really like to at least get the uh, first, like, sneak shot. All right, I'm gonna wait for those, uh... I'm gonna wait for those berries to wear off, and then I'm gonna eat some carrots. Okay. Carrots. More hit points. Oh, wait. Wait, what did carrots do again? 30 max health. Why isn't it giving me any max health? It's not coming up as a buff. It's coming up as this. Raw food, 30 max health. But it's not like a slight health boost. Okay, so it doesn't last that long. Alright, fair enough. Oh, wolf. Last thing I need when I'm trying to fight a croc is to have a wolf come into the fight. Alright, I just saw another wolf over here, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take out the wolves if I'm gonna fight the crocs. I don't know where the other wolf went, though. He was up here somewhere. Let's kind of look over here. He was heading this way. Huh. I'm not seeing him. Alright, just eat this. That's more of a buff. Those, like, slight buffs, I don't know, that's a minute. Thought I heard something up there. Yeah, this is gonna go badly. There's a freaking death trap right here. Okay, see something over there? I don't see any wolves in my area. Although, I'm almost positive there is some. That's a Komodo dragon. Oh, man. I just want to fight a croc. Alright. Now, if I was playing this smart... I would not be trying to fight this croc right now. There's too many other enemies in the area. This is stupid. It's a bad idea. And I really shouldn't be doing it. <clears throat> but we're going to look around here anyway and see if we can. Hello, crocs. There he is. Okay. Alright, there he is. Alright, and then we're going to run him over this way. See how fast he is? Oh, he ain't that fast. We gotta get headshots. These guys have a lot of hit points. How the hell am I supposed to get a headshot? How is that not his head? Yeah, really, how is that? Aim lower? Okay, I'm not going to be able to kill him if I keep doing 23 damage. But I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get a headshot here. I mean, that's definitely his head. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck you mean? He's caught on the tree. I 
Doesn't seem like I'm hitting him now. Alright. Oh boy. Man, can you, like, maybe they don't get headshots on these guys. Because if those aren't headshots, I don't know what the hell are. Yeah, this guy's going to take forever to kill. All right, well, let's see where this goes. We're we're on we're on the ride now. We can't we can't get off. Shut up. Shut up, you face. Great, I'm running him through bushes where I'm not going to be able to see him. I could shoot towards his name. Yeah, this doesn't... <laughs> I might have to melee this fool. Probably not the best idea I've ever had, but at least I'll die near my, near my home. Uh, where is my home, anyway? Should be up here somewhere, right? Yeah, it's over this way. Whoa, what the hell? Wait, how did I get a headshot now, and what the hell's wrong with me? Oh, oh, two. Shit. Alright. Well, I got a headshot there. Alright. My home is... That way. Okay. I really want to lose this guy, but... Come on. Can he come down here? Ow. And now my legs hurt. And of course he can come down here. No, he can't. All right, I'm gonna leave him alone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really uh, love that. <laughs> and now I have a hurt leg, and I don't really want to spec into splints, but I guess I'm gonna have to. You can bring the campfire inside. Just make sure not to step on it. If you light yourself on fire, you will light your house on fire. Uh, but I do have my campfire there, which is awesome. Bacon is legit, man. Look at how good the bacon is. Unbelievable. Experience gain, too? Oh, man. There ain't gonna be a boar left on this freaking planet. Um, I did go ahead and organize. This is, like, my miscellaneous stuff. Actually, it's like a drop-off chest. Uh, these two, these chests haven't been used yet. Um, that is for wood. This is for sticks. This is for fiber. Uh, this is for, like, plants. And this is for, like, hard things. Like, bone. I guess leather's kind of hard. And, you know, these things. So that stuff all looks really good. I also spec'd into a couple things. I spec'd into... I spec'd into bone arrows. Look at the difference in the arrows. Look at this. 31 to 35. And these are 54 to 60. That's unbelievable. Not only that, but they have 10% um, critical uh, damage and 20% to break chance. Which these are 50. I mean, that's a, that's a huge upgrade right there. So... We are going to make some bone arrows. Let's go ahead into the crafting menu. And we need bone, leather, and sticks. Bone, leather, and sticks. Honestly, I'm just going to make as much as, as many as I can. Oof. oof. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to make a little bit more than that. Um, I don't think I want to spend all of this stuff on those. So I'll just go with the 20. I still got the stone arrows to use up. I'll use those first. Um, I'm probably not going to mess with a crocodile. By the way... Um, on my way home, I did make it home without asphyxiating myself. Uh, and <laughs> and the funny thing is, remember how like, my leg was hurt? That went away on its own pretty quickly, too. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, yeah, so let's go. Wait, what did I run out of? I ran out of bone. Okay. I don't have any more bone. I got some bone, but like I said, I would like to save the bone because you never know what you're going to need it for. So let's go looking around and some more. I already have the spot picked out, so I'm going to... Uh, Kill everything I see. Probably not so much deer, I guess. Although, this guy's just asking for it. Alright. Oh. What is that? What was that? That little blue thing. It's like a splash or something. Alright. There's no point in shooting at them when they're running. You're just gonna, like, waste arrows. I'm also gonna grab some oxygen before I go out this time. Although I'm pretty sure I did last time as well. Oh yeah, we also got to put out the uh, put out the fire. Okay, now we're looking good. Let's get out there. Let's do some exploration. Um, I don't know where I'm going to start my main base, but it's probably going to be relatively soon. 
I would like to find some caves as well. Uh, let's go take a look at this geyser. See what this geyser is all about. Is that like in real life? I hear like a bunch of sirens going off. I wonder if they're doing this Santa Claus thing. Now. Like they always have Santa Claus on a fire engine. Um, driving around my neighborhood, so. It's festive. Uh, what the hell is that? That's a rabbit? A dead rabbit? Or is that a bird? Um, a geyser. A place vapor condenser. Oh, interesting. Alright. Oh, that's a bird. Okay. Well, sorry bird, but you had to go. I think birds just give regular meat, too. Oh, no! We got some white meat! Alright, cool. No bones left over. I do want some more bones. So we are going to kind of look around here and see if we can find some kind of cave system. I think you have to break open the cave systems now. So you gotta look for like a wall that looks breakable. Oh god, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a freaking, <laughs> I thought it was a bear. All right, buddy. I didn't one shot, one shot you, did I? Where would he go? Oh, I guess I did one shot him. I killed one of these in in my grinding session on my other world, and I couldn't do anything with it because my knife wasn't good enough. Uh, where's the knife icon? I don't see it. Wait, where, seriously, where's the knife icon? All right, well, you need a better knife anyway. Why can't I? I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, we got a storm coming in too. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't really know what the deal is here. Level 4 buffalo, I don't seem to be able to do anything with him. Anyway, I killed the buffalo in my uh, while I was grinding in my other world. And the knife I had wasn't good enough to skin him. So you need a better knife. So I figured, well, I got a bone knife, so I'll be able to skin him. But for some reason, it won't let me skin him. So we have a flash storm coming in. And this is going to have lightning involved, which means we need to get back to our base. Oh, because of shit like that. Because of shit like that. Guys, deer, batten down the hatches. It's, it's going to get real. <clears throat> I probably should have made a um another whacker, too, because the whackers can go... Uh, can get destroyed pretty easily. The durability, just like everything else, and their durability seems to wear out pretty quickly. But, you know, we'll have to see. I don't even know what I would use to repair it. I probably have what I need to repair it, so... Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, my goodness. Let's get inside... Last thing I need to do is get struck by lightning. So if your house gets struck by lightning, it will catch on fire. And you better be here to whack to whack it. You gotta whack it. Alright? And if you don't whack it, you're gonna have a bad time. Alright, so we just gotta sit this out and hope we don't get struck by lightning. I'll put a little bit more of these in there. I usually put these in one at a time. Because this oxidizer used to be bugged. Where if you put a bunch of oxide in it, it like wasted most of it. So I only put the oxide in one at a time. Seems to have been working for me so far. Okay. Uh, oh, where, where was that? Where was that? Oh boy. That's another thing. If you live near trees, you can have like forest fires. Believe me. <laughs> Trust me on that one. <laughs> Uh, but we are not near any trees, so we don't have to worry about that. All we have to worry about is our place getting struck. And we just gotta be prepared to deal with it. We were lucky our house didn't get hit by lightning. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that was a pretty tough storm. Uh, I, that storm would have really messed up a thatch roof. Like, really badly. So, I think my place is gonna be A-OK -okay for the time being. Um, until we get the stone anyway. But yeah, uh, wood, wood seems to be alright. It's alright. It, it's going to get the job done. It's going to keep me safe. Hopefully. Who knows? Maybe this storm's going to get a lot worse. I mean, I haven't played this game in a long time. So, I did play it in the multiplayer series with the Cage Crew. Um, okay, so here's the deal. I started this game a year ago. All right? Game came out a year ago. I started playing it. I did, an ep I did a series on it. And then I got tired of, like, starting over all the time. Like, I didn't want to start over. Um, because, you know, back then, it was like a... You, you would have your world until it was over, and then it was gone. And I didn't like that. <laughs> so, I didn't play it anymore. But I did play it on the Cage Crew server. But here's the thing on the Cage Crew server. They started the world without me, built up everything, and I came in to help them defeat the bosses. Um, Action-packed, you know, multiplayer action. So that was the deal. So there's a lot of stuff about this game I do not know. So we're just going to have to, uh, you know, do the best we can. 
and read the comments because I'm sure you guys will let me know everything I need to know. Alright, that's a baby. That's a dead baby. Actually, it might not have been a baby. It might have just been something. I don't know. Maybe it was a baby. Look kind of small to me. Look kind of small to me. Can you give me some bones so I could repair my bone knife, please? Right in the back of its head. I'm telling you, that aim assist is phenomenal. And there's even a perk I could get later that makes that aim assist even more deadly. I need to get some stone. And there we go. Alright, beautiful. Now, where was I when that storm came in? Oh yeah, I was over here with that stupid buffalo that I couldn't skin. Alright, let's see if we can skin him now. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, I can't even do it with this knife? So, I don't know what that red means. Does that mean my knife's not good enough? I figured that my knife wasn't good enough, but I, I thought the bone knife, which is an upgrade, would have been good enough, but... I don't know. I'm just gonna leave him alone, I guess. That sucks. Well, at least now I don't have to kill buffalo. Well, I can kill him for the experience. They do give a lot of experience. Come on, can we get up here? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Alright, what do we got around here? Oh, that's a cave. That, my friends, is a cave. Now, when you go into caves, you can get pneumonia. I gotta figure out what I need to cure pneumonia. Because I, I think curing pneumonia, you need antibiotics. I'm pretty sure. So, do I want to go in the cave today? I don't think I'm going to, just because I don't have the torch either. I'm going to have to... The cool thing about this... You know what? Let's just spec into a torch. The cool thing about this game is you can hold torches in your left hand while you mine with your right. I, I, I'm pretty sure the, miner, the mining only takes one hand. So, that is definitely helpful. Boom! What up? What up, Wolfie Wolfie? Watch out for the Komodo dragons. I don't like those guys. We're going to get them all in stealth. I've had issues with me, like, gutting a creature. And then something else coming over to get me while I was gutting the creature. And I was stuck in the animation taking damage. It really sucked. Also, oxygen is going to be a problem. I don't think I can do anything about, like, carrying oxygen. Well... I could carry the actual oxite with me, but man, that is, um, that's inefficient, dude. I really don't want to carry the oxite with me. Uh, but I do know where there is a cave, which is phenomenal, right up there. What is that? That's, um, well, the whole thing is I-17, so I guess it really doesn't matter, but I'll just have to remember where that cave is. All right, where is this guy? There he is. Oh, Oh, <laughs> your ass is grassing on the lawnmower. All right, cool. Yeah, the interesting thing is this game could be very difficult in the beginning. Almost impossible if you don't know what to do. If you do know what to do, it's, um, it's quite smooth. It's quite smooth, and I do appreciate that. Um, I, I would like it if they would put a... Uh, I'm going to kill this guy for the experience. I would appreciate it if they put like a tutorial in the, the open world part of the game. Alright, let's kill this bird. Yeah, 74 experience. Wasn't even worth it. Wasn't even worth it. Let's see what we get for him. Oh yeah, don't I get the white meat off the birds? Well, that, that might be worth it. We should go home and... Oh, come on, oh, dragon! See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Almost got hit. I should have paid attention to what was in the area before I started skinning him. Alright, Komodo Dragon. You come to Papa. Alright, one more. Nope. One more headshot, probably. There we go. Alright, look around. Alright, it looks okay. We'll get the Komodo Dragon. Get my arrows back. Okay, so he drops the stringy meat. I think that stringy meat's really good. I think the next thing I might spec into is the drying rack. What is that? Oh, dude! That wolf just spawned. You see that shit? Alright, well, it is what it is. Ow, alright. 
Damn, that's a high level. Okay, uh, stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. Beautiful. Ooh, he's like... Wait, 33? I thought he was like level 63. <laughs> I guess I mis, uh, misread it. Alright, let's get back home, man. Yeah, these things break way too quickly. I think the next, uh, the next knife I can make will be iron, maybe? But that seems like it's kind of far off. Maybe it's not. Where am I? Yep, I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong island, that's why. We gotta cross the river over here to get back home. I get turned around a lot in here. I'm gonna inspect into the drying rack, so let's get some wood and some fiber. Wood and fiber. And I've never used a drying rack before. So this should be pretty fun. I don't know, like, I, I have no idea how it works. Like, at all. Not even a little bit. Ooh, is it dry? Well, the, do you think the drying rack would call in, like, enemies? I don't think so, right? A rack for slowly drying various cuts of meat and curating leather. Okay, I mean, I'm hoping this doesn't call in enemies, because that's gonna... That's gonna really suck. Uh, maybe I'll put it up here. Alright. That'll work. I don't know what curating leather is gonna do for me, but... Let's... Oh! Wait. I already have leather. Is... Am I supposed to put leather up there? Or, or can I, like, turn fur into leather? How does that work? Um, let's just put... Let's just put seven up there to see what it does. If it does anything. Oh, it tells you right up here. Okay. Cured leather. Oh, okay. So we need, um, tree sap. Alright, I gotta figure out how to get tree sap then. So, dried steak. What do we have? We have... White meat. So, dried white meat. I mean, that, that seems pretty good to me. Bunch of stamina. Yeah, let's just put whatever we can up there. And not whatever we can. Let's cook some of it. That way we can, you know, co uh, compare. Uh, I'll just cook one piece. There we go. And can raw meat do anything? I don't think raw meat does anything. Yeah, none of that stuff looks like raw meat. So I guess we just cook the raw meat. I don't think we need to cook any more raw meat, but whatever. Let's go ahead and eat that. Eat that. Eat that. And I think we're good to go. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.